Hello guys, hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the year 2023. Welcome to my channel, YJ Digital World. I remain your regular host, Agu Jesus. Tutorial video today, I'll be putting you through on how to create a party flyer event using Photoshop 2020. Okay, I want to use this opportunity to welcome you to my channel. I want to use this opportunity to welcome every new subscriber and every existing subscriber i want to use this opportunity to say thank you for the support thank you for the love from the previous year thank you for always being there thank you for the nice comment thank you for your reviews thank you for everything for the likes everything i want to say thank you all to you all because you all has been the one motivating me to keep on creating this content and i hope that this year 2023 will do more advanced in our design skills okay thank you guys welcome back to my channel please if you are new to the channel do where to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like okay if you have any comment you can always leave your comment in the comment section okay you can also follow me on one of my socials at yj digital world thank you guys okay so firstly I have to create a Canva workspace on which this project will be carried out on. So here yeah, I'll click on create new. The name or the title of for this project is called Freezy Drive. Okay, unit of measurement is in inches, four inches of width and height. Resolution is in 300 RGB color mode because we are not printing it. We are making use of the design for social medias. Okay, so first of all this is our canva workspace on which this design project uh, is meant to be carried out on okay so i want to introduce something called the layout and the success of every design has been determined on how well our layout have been uh, on how well all our elements have been uh, organized on the canva workspace okay a good design controls the eye movement okay now in order for you to control the eye movement of your orders you have to create a well and an organized layout that will do that perfectly for you so normally before i carry out my design projects i normally create a layout okay that is giving me an idea on how i want to arrange all the elements be it text be it shape be it uh, objects okay so firstly around this region i want to place around this region i want to place uh, the name of the organizers while at this region i want to place the team of the event okay likewise around here i want to place my models which i'll be using in this uh, design project okay that is for this then why are this bottom region here i normally choose to place other information such as dates and venue of the event okay so other informations are replaced at this other ends okay if, and if need arises i choose to place the spawn uh, the <coughs> the organizers logo around somewhere here okay or i normally place them around some here here so you have to create uh, a layout that will give you an insight on what to do this layout always enables me in order to uh, manage time in carrying out a project okay so instead of just picking up your pc and start designing you should have a layout for those that are already pro they always do that create a perfect layout whenever they want to carry out a project okay so we are done with that so in order for me to produce or uh, to achieve this here are some of the resources i'm using for this so firstly i got this flower from this model image here i always tell you that there are various ways to create your background you can get your resources from on your model that is one of the ways okay or you can go online and source for resources which you seem fit that will actually tell the particular story 
you want to tell to the particular audience which will actually consume the content which are creating so here i've dragged in this into my canva workspace so i'll just come over here scale it up so after scaling up the size of my flower bouquet i hit the check so i'll hit ctrl zero to restore okay now after restoring the frame size i'll come back to my adjustment panel over here select uh, curves over here now these curves are in, in this curve interface so uh, the panel here the properties precisely we have the shadows here the highlights and the mid-tones around this region so i want to add and to create add more of what shadows instead of adding more of of uh, of instead of reducing the shadows i'm adding more of the shadows and likewise i'm also doing same here okay on the highlight region okay so after doing that i come over here all the way to color balance i need to add more of cyan the opposite of cyan here is red so i need more of red for me to do that i add more of okay then you can see i'm adding more of cyan to this okay i think this is okay so after doing this come to here as well select the hues and saturation and add a little bit of the hue okay i think this is it okay i'm trying to regain some of the pixels of the color that was, was on the flower earlier okay so after doing that now add another another curve here this curve i'm trying to use it to create contrast in a situation whereby i place my text and my my on this background so that it will be more visible so i hit ctrl i i don't need the effects to be on the whole project so after hitting ctrl i on the max layer you notice i pick my brush here okay I right click and select the round, uh, the soft round edge brush okay hit the open and close bracket button on your keyboard that is close to your p button on your keyboard okay to use it to scale up and scale down the size of your brush make sure your foreground color is set on black and you can also control the strength and the opacity of your brush using the opacity and flow that is i'm using it to control the strength of this brush how effective i need it to be okay so i think this is this is okay this is okay so after doing this you can see this is before and this is after now i can come here select this first layer hold shift select the other layer and hit ctrl g i call this background okay that is bg so in the next phase of this design project I would like uh, to bring in other set of resources such as the model image. Okay, I'll drag this in. I'll check. Come over here. Drag this in as well. Okay. So after dragging both images in, I'll take this model image behind this and place it side by side as this for example so i'll take it around somewhere of this nature okay select the two of them the two layers and position them towards the middle you can see my guys are on you show me currently i'm at the middle so before i proceed now i need to work on the model images okay now firstly i want to work on this first i hit ctrl g to duplicate this particular model image after duplicating make sure it's selected the copy layer is selected come to filter here all the way to order and all the way to high pass now i'm trying to create a give the model image a look okay so i've zoomed in you can see think uh, this is good enough okay i click on okay 
after doing that i come here and change the blending of this to 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 soft light okay so after changing this to soft light i can choose to the max the effect okay now let me return okay i've zoomed out back now after applying this effect the next thing i'll be doing here is to um, add a little bit of uh, levels but before doing that i want to add hue to this and to adjust the saturation on the model image on this model image so i'll come to my hues here or to my adjustment panel select the hues okay now the hue i want to add a little bit of saturation to this okay let me see about I think this is good enough okay right click and right click and clip max this is before and this is after let me zoom in so that you see it before after before after so after applying the hues and saturation i'll come over here to my adjustment and select the curve the levels rather now on the levels i need to also work on the mid tones and the highlight okay so in order for me to do this i want to like add more of some brightness to this okay let me click max it i don't need it to be on the whole project okay so i will adjust this to let me see about this likewise i'll adjust this to as well so let me see about i think this is okay so you can see the effect on the design project this is before and this is after this is as if i'm giving the model image uh life okay so i'll select this particular one and group them together okay then the one at this other side i'll come over here hit ctrl j to make the same duplicate and replicate the same effect here ctrl help us and i think this is also good enough check okay come over here and change this to i think okay headlight is good for this okay now after doing that i'll come over here again make sure sorry right click clip max this okay i've clip max the effect so i think okay so i'll come over here as well come to my heels and saturation as well and add a little bit of saturation to this about five okay I think is okay so I'll right click and click max as well now after click max and come over here again at levels okay this time I also want to work on the highlight as well okay likewise on the mid tones you can see the effect on the model this is before and this is after but i have to click max again i need the effect to only be on the model image not on the whole project okay let me zoom out fit to screen so come over here and group this together okay so i come i can come here now and call this uh, black model and call this uh, uh let me see Rus lady okay so i'm just using some of the features i'm seeing okay if you can remember i told you that the the background was gotten from this model i used the flower around this region to create the background okay that was the flower you saw me using earlier okay 
so i can come here select the two groups and group them and call this model now after doing this the next phase of this project has to do with uh, adding of a uh, what do you call it uh, text okay so now i need to create a little bit of contrast around this bottom region so that if i place information it will be more visible so come over here i've added the layer max come to my gradient here make sure yeah on the black and white okay now you come over here you left click and drag this way you see the effect has has taken place okay now after doing this now i'll come to my select sorry to my uh, view here and set new guides and these are the parameters i use in setting the guides okay so i click on okay now after doing this I'll come over here so here I have my information. Okay, I copy this particular text. Now after copying this particular text, I'll minimize as well. Pick my text to after picking my text to I'll start placing in the whole text. So from this particular region, I would like to fast forward. So now after placing the text, I have to now work on each and every one of these texts, okay? So like this first text here, which is the name of the organizers, I notice my character panel is now active. So you come to window over here, all the way to character, okay? So I'm using the Montserrat. For this okay now apart from that I'll come over here pick my color here this is the color I'm using for this okay click on okay now this I'll be setting this particular text here to regular to semi bold rather why this i'll be setting it to regular okay and then also i need to adjust the font size okay so let me say five okay so after doing that ctrl a to highlight all Pick your move to align it to the middle. Ctrl D to deselect. I think this is okay. So after that, come over here. We're working on the theme of the event. Okay. Now let me take this down. Now let me work on the theme of the event. Come to to view here. I want to turn on a guide here. About uh, 30 percent on the horizontal axis okay i think this is good now the font i'm using for this is called the nagara solid nagara solid that is the name of the font i'm using for this okay so all i have to do is just to increase the size of this okay to let me say about 46 Okay, Ctrl E and align it to the middle. Ctrl D to deselect your selection. So, after doing that, come to over here. Okay, and make a shape of this nature. Now, after doing this, this should be the color for this, and drag it beneath the text. Okay, on the layer panel. So doing that it's ctrl t to transform right click and i 
can see okay i think this is okay ctrl a align to the middle okay ctrl d select ctrl t okay now hit ctrl on your keyboard and left click on the rectangle where you have it on your layer panel here you see my mouse pointer change to this okay i'm trying to make a quick selection i want to align this to the middle of the rectangle so i've deselected now after deselecting now on your layer here we have the crazy drive text so double click on it now after double clicking on it the layer styles comes up now firstly i want to add stroke to this particular text i'm using the two two pixels the position outside normal just you can set yours the way i have mine here now i'm using the gradient uh, fill type i'm not using the solid and uh, not use i'm not using color i'm using gradient and these are the parameters i have white here and here is the hex code okay okay and then here as well i have white but this time around i turn down the opacity if you notice opacity is on zero while this here is on 100 percent so this should be on 100 percent opacity of white and this should be on zero opacity of white okay we can use this to adjust the opacities these handles are the top use it to adjust the opacities so after doing that after setting the angles okay you come to your bevels here as well now on your bevels as well these are the parameters i use in setting my bevels okay these are the parameters i use okay these are the parameters i use likewise i come here to add the drop shadow okay i think this is actually good enough i can come over here and click on ok okay so if i'm not still uh, happy with this i can still come over to my bevels and still adjust positions of one or two of this to actually suit what i need so you just play around the handles okay to actually give your project the particular feel you are looking for but for me this is good enough okay now if you notice closely your we seen some of the effect at the edge okay and inside the text precisely so the bevels enables me to create uh, text effects we around text the strokes is around the edge of the text because as you can see this enables me to create effect in uh, because in the style i selected i select inner bevel so the effect I'll be carrying out here under the bevels will be carried in inside if you notice that this top part will have the white and here have a little kind of gray effect at the other end okay so after doing this i'll just fit to screen again now select this particular text here okay select all these particular group of text ctrl e and align them to the middle okay ctrl d to deselect now firstly i will start with the red carpet text here now also changing it to montserrat as well now after changing it to montserrat the text called red carpet uh, i have to reduce the whole of the text to about uh, let me see 5.9 5.8 precisely or oh, let me change it to 5.9 i think this is good so after doing that i'll come here to lay emphasis now the text here is called red carpet but the emphasis here is the time of the event so for me to lay emphasis i'll change this to to let me say medium okay why this other set of text i'll change it to to let me say light okay 
so one of the ways to create hierarchy in your design is by uh, is by creating uh, by using a font that has different uh, font, uh, families so thereby creating contrast and creating an emphasis on text so same here come over and select these changes to Montserrat as well okay so I'll be always repeating the same thing over and over here okay I also come over here and as well as reducing the size of the text here to about let me say 5.03 okay after doing that I'll come here now I also want to lay emphasis again so I'll be repeating this over and over so from here I'll, I'll have to fast forward this particular part of this video so for the location here I'm using a black range that's the name of the font So over here again I pick my rectangle to to create a shape of this nature. Okay. Turn off the fill and turn on the stroke. Give it three pixels of strokes. Okay. Hold control. Left click on the rectangle layer on your layers panel here. So click on the layer where you have the text here, which is called get your events blah 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 so we can move to align the text to the middle okay i've just selected let me still scale up i read and uh, scale down the size of the rectangle i think this is good enough okay so at this other end we have my date and time i have to create a rectangle here for this purpose okay turn on the field turn on the field and turn on the strokes we give it our three pixels as well okay the date also is on the uh, monster rat as well so I'll come to my character panel here select monster rats Okay. I'm coming to scale down the size. Yeah, select it is as well. Change it to Montserrat. okay so let me let me make a selection of this and align them to the middle same here to the middle okay so that's for that okay i'll come here select it change the font for the date to auto change this to lowercase I turn off this turn it off ok ok I think this is ok position this around here ok and make sure they are selected and grouped together Call this date. Okay. Now, after doing this, come you hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate of the same group and take it to somewhere around here. So, pick my text tool and call this twelve. Okay. 
can call this none okay for this time around I'm increasing this and make sure that they are positioned properly okay okay think this is okay same here I'll increase the size of this I think this is good enough okay so after doing this come to my resource again and drag in this the drinking IQ scale down the size and position it to somewhere around here scale down the size very more I think this is good enough okay so after scaling down the size of this next I have to categorize this set of text together come over here and group this okay call this info okay you can see i've categorized this control h to hide the guide okay so i'll come here and drag in this into my photoshop workspace check change the blending to screen you can see the effect on the whole project okay but here i have to add a max to this now hit ctrl i to invert it pick my brush okay increase my opacity okay so i'll make sure my foreground is on white so that i'll apply the plastic uh, effect we are needed I don't need it to be everywhere okay so so I think this is good enough so this is before and this is after so I can come now hit X reduce the size of my brush to gain this back don't need it to be on this for now okay now I think this is actually good I think this is actually good enough okay so after doing this and turn off I can turn off this set of information okay stand visible control shift alt e okay hold alt on your keyboard click on create new layer here on your layer panel here create changes to noise the name to noise soft light turn on the neutral color power okay so after doing this i'll come here all the way to filter here to noise add noise Okay, you can see the you can see the effect on this okay I click on OK stand visible again control or shift E okay now after standing visible I come to my filter all the way to smash sharpen sharpen sh smash sharpen okay and I'm, I'm using this measurement here okay and I click on OK now you can see how it looks and the project so I can come over here delete this as well delete this but this is the merged layer so I'll drag it all the way to somewhere around okay I'll leave it here and drag the information group above this way turn it on okay so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of uh, 
to this tutorial so if you find this uh, tutorial helpful do well to give this tutorial video a like and if you enjoy my content do well to subscribe to the channel turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content and if you are able to achieve any design project with the help of any of my tutorial do well to tag me on your socials do well to tag me okay thank you guys for watching